Hey guys, Jared here for TGN Technology and the Smoke and the Android. And today I'm just here to bring you guys a quick little review of a new case I've bought in for my Samsung Galaxy S3. And uh, kind of going to kind of give you guys my impression of it. So um, I actually bought this from one of those cell phone booths that you find in a mall. And because uh, I, you know, I, was, I don't have a case for this yet. And uh, I would really like one, and I really don't want to drop it, so um, I wanted some sort of a TPU, you know, plastic case. And so I went there, and Avoca, 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 uh, um, has a well, had a really nice looking case there. And um, this is actually twenty dollars in the store uh, where I bought it from. I'm sure if you go to their website, you'll be able to find other retailers and locations to purchase it from. Um, so, anyways, uh, initial thoughts, uh, presentation of the case is really nice. It's got this neat little sleeve here. And then, of course, you've got this really cool uh, case that it comes in. Okay, put that off to the side. And nothing else. Obviously, I mean, it's just a case, so it's pretty straightforward. We obviously know what we're supposed to do with it. Uh, so we'll put the packaging off to the side. And um, the case itself, like I said, is made of TPU, so it's flexible. You know, it's pretty looking. But I, I really like the design because it kind of has that frosted glass look to it as well as the, the um, clear side to it. And um, it also has these sort of little, um, and I, I'll zoom in here so you guys can see it a little bit better. It has these, um, these, this texture, these, this diamond type of texture um, that kind of adds to grip. And it's actually really, really like, I'll see if I can put up to the mic. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but um, it is definitely grippy. So it, uh, you know, so it helps out, um, you know, in, in obviously holding it and things like that. So it doesn't slip out of your hand. Now, um, so, and then here, of course, we've got our, uh, like, unlike a lot of cases out there where there, there's actual cutouts for the buttons, um, there's actually, they're actually covering the buttons up. Now, I prefer cases myself that have, uh, that do cover up the buttons um, as long as, basically for the purpose of, like, you know, it's easier to feel the buttons, it's easier to press the buttons, things like that when there's a case on it. And I thought that was what the, 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 what it was going to be like with this particular case, but I'll show you what's going on here. I'll just toss the device in here. And it just snaps into place there, nice and easy, right? As you can see, all the cutouts are absolutely perfect. <clears throat> um, matches up with the buttons perfectly. You know, bottom cutouts are absolutely perfect. And it also gives you that bit of a ridge, right? So it protects the edges. So if you do happen to drop it like that, it's not going to, you know, take the impact from the ground and then shatter the rest of your screen. So that's a big, big, big bonus as well as when you put it down on a flat surface face down, um, you know, if there's any little crumbs, things like that, it kind of gives it that, like, you know, whatever it is, one millimeter, um, you know, difference from, from the, from the surface there. Plus it doesn't scratch the rest of your device and it obviously just keeps your screen from getting mucked up and all that good stuff. Um, but anyways, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the back here. And one thing I did notice right away, uh, because I actually have taken this out and use it for a couple of days now. One thing I did notice is that the clear, uh, part of the back of the case, um, because I guess of the material that this one was made out of, you can actually see some of the air bubbles that um, that happen when the, the phone kind of seals up with it, which I kind of didn't really like just because it does kind of give the phone like a dirty look to it. You know, if you hold it up, it looks like maybe the, the back of your case is all scratched up or something like that. So I wasn't really a huge fan of that. Um, although I do like, like if I was to kind of cover up that side, I do like this with the frosted glass look and it doesn't have the sort of, um, that seal that those air bubbles that I was talking about a, a second ago. Now, moving on to the most important part for me is the buttons. All right. If I can't feel the buttons, if, if I have a hard time locating the power button and the volume buttons, um, it's a no go for me. And I'm going to have to tell you that unfortunately this case is a no go for me. It's a nice case. It's high quality. You can tell, I mean, I love the grips on the side. All the cutouts are perfect, which is hard to find find on a lot of cases, uh, a lot of accessory manufacturers, because what they do is they actually um, make the case before the phone is released, kind of expecting to know where all of the uh, the ports are going to be. Uh, but like I said, the uh, the buttons for me, this is the, uh, so the power button, this is the worst problem for me on this particular case. Um, I can't feel when I press the button. It, it just, it you can barely feel it. So, I mean, if the case, if your phone's down, you're at your desk or whatever, and you get a text message and you're just reaching across, hit that power button really quickly. Uh, it's really difficult to find. And, um, on a regular basis, I found myself pressing the button and the screen never turned on, which I thought was really, really annoying. Um, so I do, I wish that the button was raised a little more, um, so that I could actually feel it when I just run my, my thumb alongside of it. Uh, the volume buttons I can feel just because it is a bigger button to press. Um, However, uh, yeah, so, I mean, buttons, you know, considering it's hard to press them, this case is a no-go for me. It's a nice case, nevertheless. Uh, it's also got a little sort of 
doohickey down there, like a little lanyard doohickey to put your little charms in there if you're a girl or <laughs> whatever. Um, but anyways, that is basically it, guys. So uh, really nice case. It's up to you. If you don't really care about the, the placement of the buttons and how it feels, then uh, definitely go for it. It's 20 bucks. Uh, you can head on over to avocatech.com and uh, you know check out their line of cases. I know they have a lot more cases. This is the only one that I've purchased, though. So um, yeah, anyways, that's basically it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you guys in the next video. Cheers.